Hello there, it's down here in Crampton, Northumberland. I'm in the shed talking about my sweet potatoes. So, I've got three different types. Uh, don't ask us what they were. Uh, Vermont. Oh, they'll be on, 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 on my previous videos anyway. So, anyway, uh, someone that I follow on Instagram and uh, Facebook and all that, the allotment groups, uh, sent a picture of basically uh, sweet potatoes. So as you can see, I've got. I see, I'm sure these are the Bearmont ones. I'm sure they're the orange, orange skinned or red skinned with the uh, orange centre. Uh, they sent a picture of the flowers. Well, I had thought that I had some flowers, but uh, like here, yeah, I'm sure. But I think I think it's mainly just uh, leaf damage. Anyway, so this is the first year for me, really. So this is September. Uh, I don't know. You know, really, before I do the videos, I should uh, look back at my videos when I actually uh, planted them. Uh, I think next year I'm going to have to start doing a, like a bit of a, a book of times I put them in, how I put them in, what the medium I put them in, like the soil. Anyway, the soil isn't anything special, it's just my uh, own sieved soil. So, yeah, uh, basically I think it's it's three, it's basically three plants. Uh, Per pot, or was it four plants? I can't remember. I think it was, uh, but I can't see any uh, any flowers and any of that. Like I said, these were just shoved here. I had put the other uh, two types uh, at the back here against the trellis, so they could uh, go up here because you know it is a vine type plant. Uh, a tuba. It isn't uh, like an old potato. And the ones at the back there. Uh, further. So, and I've got some over here, as you can see, you know, from from the back of there, crawling over the back of here. So I've just let them uh, run riot and see how they grow. Uh, like I say, this is the first year for me growing sweet potatoes. Uh, so, I, you know, I should have done my research really to see when they die back. They're like like a normal potato. Do they like die back? Uh, but like any potatoes that's out here, like that, and then you know that they're ready. Uh, I'm quite sure, you know, within here, like uh, it's it is quite hot in here, humid. So this is why they were left in here. Uh, they don't like cold. They like hot humid uh, temperatures and you know we've had uh, various days where it's been hot humid cold damp so whether that affects the plant I don't know so I'm hoping when they die back that I can see whether it has been uh, worth it growing these like I say this is the first attempt at me growing these this year uh, so yeah I thought I'd just do a little update of how they're going they're still uh, flourishing uh, they haven't died back this is the, they're just going everywhere if I moved all this, they're probably all over the place. Uh, but yeah, can't complain. But the proof is in the pudding is when I harvest them, and you see that. So, uh, one of the people that I follow, who obviously was showing you the flowers uh, that was on the sweet potato, had asked, you know, is this something you'll be growing next year that you haven't grown? Well, I haven't thought about that one, what I'm going to be growing next year, but these were one of them. I think next year I'm going to, I uh, did try. Uh, the peanuts, the red peanuts that you get, you can grow them from seed. Uh, where the flowers, the flower, then the flower falls down, and the flower falls to the ground, and it creates uh, the nuts because it's like roots down there, and it does that. I tried doing this year, tried doing it my own way by buying some uh, peanuts, but it didn't work. So I think I'm going to have to uh, bite the bullet and actually uh, buy them properly. That you can buy from uh, people who sell them uh, next year as well with the sweet potatoes these ones which were bought from Sutton's uh, I'm gonna try a sweet potato by just shoving the potato in the ground or at the top of the ground and once the, the, the slips start coming off basically just backfill on the potato uh, and the other way of putting the potato with water and the slips and you take the slips off etc etc and then obviously buying some more varieties of potatoes if they're successful 
Uh, so, yeah, you know, let me know if you're growing anywhere in the UK. Like, I'm eight miles north of Newcastle, I'm in Northumberland, so it isn't exactly the hottest place. It isn't as hot as down south, and it isn't as uh, cold as up north, which is further to me, Berwick in Scotland and that. Uh, so, you know, let me know what you've, what you've grown. Uh, you know, if you've got any tips, if you've grown for a good few years, uh, let me know uh, when they're ready. Like I say, as I should when I'm doing these video research and all that, but you know, my videos are basically just me being someone who's normal, who isn't an expert, because I ain't an expert, it's just trials and tribulations of everything that you grow, isn't it really? Uh, so yeah, let me know. I, I love learning new things, and hopefully, you know, from people telling me stuff, I'll pass that knowledge on, and then I'll learn stuff, and it's, that's how it's meant to work, isn't it? Anyway, it's bye from me. I'm in the shed. See you later. Bye.